excited to do today's video because of the updated skincare routine, my night routine to clarify, and honestly, I've almost fully transitioned to Korean skincare products. I tried one, then two, and it went from there. So I'm excited to share with you all what I've been using and why I like them. So let's do this. First of all, I have combination skin, and I like to focus on hydration because I do also have eczema prone skin and it will not hesitate to pop up on my face, which I absolutely hate. Since I've been focusing a lot on hydration, the eczema has been staying away, which is awesome. However, I have been struggling with breaking out. The acne has been popping up, which is hard for me because I didn't really grow up with acne prone skin, so now I'm really just kind of having that, that learning curve and figuring out what works and doesn't work for me. With that being said, I'm a pick I hate feeling the texture on my skin so unfortunately I do pick at it which has left me with hyperpigmentation so you can see that right here it's always on the cheek area for some reason and I can't help it I'm working on it don't blame me hey baby loves welcome back to the fiesta if you're new here my name is Keyshawna Dupuy and if you're not uh -huh, you're loyal don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell below if you're interested in seeing weekly hair or skin product reviews tips tricks and advice every Sunday. For the most part, all of these will be repurchased multiple times or already have been, but I'm still gonna mention if I will or will not be repurchasing. But we're gonna go ahead and get started with my cleansers. I am a double cleanse girl now because I learned that the texture is coming from my clogged pores and just using the first water-based cleanser wasn't enough. I was doing that already for when I did makeup, but what I didn't know is that if you're using sunscreen every day but also have texture, clogged up pore kind of situation going on, you should be double cleansing every day. So that's what we now do. This is the All Clean Balm from Helmish. I actually love this thing. It's the first balm I've ever used and it did not disappoint. First of all, packaging, super sturdy. It comes with this little spatula to scoop out the product. I really love it. And then it has like a initial kind of stopper before you get to the product. I love it. A little goes a really long way, especially on days that I'm not too heavy on the products. I don't use too much, unless I'm wearing makeup. Melts the makeup off, by the way. It's really easy to use. You get to emulsify it with water, and then it just, it's just, it just goes through its stages and melts it all off. It feels really nice. It's a great first step, because I do feel like it gets it off. It, it breaks it down. That's the best way to put it. It's gonna break it down. And then, my next cleanser that I use is this bad boy. Is the CauseRx Advanced Nail Mucin Gel Cleanser. I have repurchased this thing multiple, multiple times and I will continue to do so. I actually really like the consistency of it. It has the Snail Mucin, it's a part of that Snail Mucin line, so it has that like slight sliminess to it, but it doesn't feel slimy. It actually feels very luxurious, very soft and smooth to it. And then it just smooths onto my face and it doesn't lather, but it goes on so smooth and then it washes off. I feel hydrated. My skin itself feels hydrated, but also my skin noticeably had a plumpness to it. Like, I feel like it started sinking in and hydrating. It's the second Korean skincare product I ever use, but it's the most free, Ooh, okay. It is the most repurchased one for me. I'm in love with this cleanser. Out of all of these, I am personally most comfortable recommending this gel cleanser. My skin feels awesome all the time. Really quick, if you made this far, go ahead and comment down below GLOW, G-L-O-W, so I can show you so much love for vibing with your girl. But also, since we're talking about vibing with me, go ahead and like and subscribe. Keep watching. Next up, we actually have the first Korean skincare product I ever used, and it is, we all know her, the CauseRx Advanced Nail 96 Mucin Power Essence. As you can tell, she's almost done. It lasts a long time though, and I use it day and night. It goes a very long way. You do not have to use a lot at all. One pump has gotten me very far. I like to use this right after the cleanser because I like to apply it when my face is still wet so that when it dries down, it dries down with this. This essence is meant to help lose less of your moisture, so encourage moisture retention while keeping the skin smooth and healthy. I still go back and forth on how much this helps, but I can say in terms of moisture retention, it has definitely helped maintain the moisture and I feel like my skin has this kind of like elasticness to this, a little, you know, plumpness going on. What I'm basically trying to say is I can't tell you for sure that it has 
a monumental impact on my skincare but i can say one i absolutely love using it the consistency has a slight sliminess but it, it smooths across my skin so nicely it absolutely makes it feel hydrated and people have been talking about hyperpigmentation and how it helps with that i don't necessarily feel like it does that and it doesn't claim to do so but your 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 actual skin barrier and people have been talking a lot about repairing your skin barrier i feel like because this focuses so much on keeping your skin feeling smooth and healthy i think that that's what it impacts it just naturally gives you a little bit more of a glow just because it's helping to hydrate so well so like i said i'm probably gonna keep purchasing it it is gear approved i enjoy using it next up i like to go in with my toner i alternate between applying it right after the essence when my face is still soaked when it's a bit more damp when it's starting to dry i don't know i just use it whenever i feel like it Toner is a product for me where I have a lot of mixed feelings that I don't feel like it's necessary Especially when I'm using the essence sometimes I'm like do I really need this do I not I don't know I do really enjoy this product though. This is the Laneige Laneige. I always mess it up I'm so sorry y'all. This is the cream skin toner and moisturizer two-in-one formula and let me just say I have my doubts right because like I said I don't necessarily feel like toner is necessary Okay I stopped using it for a long time. However, I just started seeing so much about a creamy toner and how great this toner was. And I just tried it and I'm so happy I did because this thing is nice. I am still willing to try other products, but I'm very happy to have tried this as my first milky toner because it just changed the game for me. It gives you the hydration that you want from a toner. But in terms of moisturizer, it genuinely moisturizes your face without leaving it greasy or sticky or any. It's, it's a very weird, incredible product to me. And it is very gentle. I feel like it would mix well with a lot of skin types. Don't quote me on it, but I do feel that way. I've used it when my skin felt dry and I've used it when my skin was feeling super moisturized and good to go. I just think that it just mixes well with all of my other products. I just like it. It says that it's a two-in-one hybrid that softens like a toner and hydrates like a moisturizer. It, it does it all, y'all. It does what you need. The skin type, it does say normal to dry skin. It doesn't claim to be good for, for sensitive skin. That's me saying it. I just have found that anyone that I've let use it, it has mixed well. It hasn't irritated. It goes on just really nice and light. And you hear creamy, milky toner and you're like, what? It's going to be sticky. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. It's not. It just melts in so this is definitely key approved i definitely encourage you to try it if you want to transition into a milky creamy toner it was a great introduction for me after that we jump into the serums honey the main serum i've been obsessing over is niacinamide i used to use it a lot and then i stopped and then my hyperpigmentation started getting tricky again, so I brought it back and I'm happy I did. Here are the two serums and they both do focus on niacinamide. This is the Axis Y Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum. This is supposed to help correct the dark spots and brighten the skin. I have mixed feelings about it though. The girlies were going crazy about this on TikTok, so I had to try it. It was sold out everywhere, so I actually waited to get this product and I like it. It doesn't irritate at all. I, I love the consistency of the serum. It smooths on. It does leave you kind of just glowy and looking nice and bright. I really just don't know if it's helping correct the hyperpigmentation. Sometimes I feel like it's not going as fast as I would want it to. Um, but again, I am a picker. So, so maybe I'm making it worse. I don't know. I go back and forth. So I, I'm not too sure on if I'll be repurchasing this one. I'm definitely gonna finish it. Since I can't make up a decision on how much I love this or not, my plan at this point is to try a different dark spot correcting serum. See how I feel about that product and then that will help me decide if I wanna come back to this one based on the experience I've currently had with it, which has been good, versus if I need to change it to a new one. So I'm not sure about this one. Let me know if you're into the Axis Y Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum. If you use it, if you have a hack to it, do I need a spot treat with it? Let me know what you're doing with it. Now the next serum that I've been using and really enjoying is the Beauty of Joson, I think it is. Beauty of Joson Glow Serum with Propolis and Niacinamide. Here is what she looks like. And she usually is much prettier, but I 
actually really like this serum. I think it does leave the skin glowy. It almost gives you like a oil glazed kind of look, but it's a serum and it melts into the skin so nicely. By the way, I've used this entire routine under makeup gone down very well especially for like my more light natural look this product in particular i feel like is great for the days that you don't want makeup or want minimal makeup i really do enjoy it i think i'm gonna continue to purchase it at the same time sometimes i feel like i can't tell how much is doing i just feel like with the niacinamide it might just be me expecting it to do more i alternate usually this one is my glowy one for the morning this one's my glow for the nighttime probably don't even need to be using both of these because they both have niacinamide but i do and i enjoy it then we have a moisturizer and if you can't tell you can tell now i love cause rx this is the advanced snail 92 all in one cream it is meant to naturally create an appealing glow of healthy skin and boy does it do that it's the most unique moisturizer i have ever used and it's interesting that it says all in one cream so i'm expecting more of a creamy thicker consistency and it has a little stopper i'm like okay guys look at how i got this thing i'm scraping the bottom until my new one can come y'all it's so good it smooths and glides across the skin so nicely leaves your skin very moisturized throughout the day i use it at night i use it in the daytime i just enjoy how light it is i'm intrigued to see how it does for the winter time i haven't gotten a chance to use it in the colder season yet this will be the first time so i'm not sure about that and i naturally like to use thicker products in the winter since my face dries out a lot but the hydration that healthy glow that it mentioned it does that my skin always just feels so genuinely moisturized and but protected it doesn't feel heavy or greasy in any way it melts melts into the skin it goes on i really don't want to say slimy but it just goes it glides i'm gonna say that it glides on so you're like what is this doing but then it melts down into the skin and then it leaves it with that healthy glow that i mentioned it's so nice i'm gonna definitely keep using it as my moisturizer mix it with my sunscreen that is not currently a korean sunscreen by the way i don't have one um if you are using one put me on to which one you're liking what you're using i'm curious so i'm i'm down to try it let me know but i'm very big on it gotta melt it can't leave a cast can't leave none of that this though as i already said i'm waiting for the new one to come we're gonna keep using this and then i have the Laneige lip sleeping mask i'm not gonna talk too much about this because i did a whole review on this i absolutely love this thing it is so key approved i'm gonna continue to buy it this is the mini one a little bit look at how look at can you see that little little bit i'm putting on and then she just shines it looks so i i love this lip mask and it stays on the lip i don't know how they did it for it to be able to stay on the lip all night but it does this a little bit of aqua four is about to have my lips elite this winter so mm -hmm. this is so key approved we're gonna keep using this this is bomb and essentially that's my night routine that's it right there i go through that entire one two three four five six seven eight seven to eight step process the main three products i would love to know if you have a recommendation for me to try is a sunscreen a milky toner i'm really loving them i, I think i want to try that vegan kombucha one i don't know yet but i've been hearing good stuff about it and then a serum something for these dark spots to go if you have a particular one that you like or if it is one of these and you just use it in a more specific way let me know i'm curious the last thing that's an honorable mention the last thing that's an honorable mention because it's not an eye cream it's an eye patch but i have incorporated in my routine from time to time when the under eyes are feeling dull or if i know i'm about to do some eye makeup that i want the skin to look extra hydrated for or something i pull this out this is the j june green tea eye gel patch honestly y'all i don't I don't necessarily struggle. They've gotten darker because my sleeping patterns are bad. But I don't really struggle with dark under eyes too much to the point where I use eye creams. I actually don't care too much for eye creams, period. But I had seen this eye patch. They look so soothing and, and nice and jelly and like they were going to just work really nicely. So I wanted to try it and I do love it. It comes with the, oh, I, I lost it. It has a little spatula that it comes with. And then here is 
how these look. It's green tea and literally it's green tea infused patches. It's very jelly, very soft, thin. They last a while, like the liquid jelly texture to it, it lasts. I do think if you're someone that has puffy eye situations, this is something that you should try. I've just been using it because it's fun to use eye patches. I like it, it feels nice and soothing. It does get the under eye very hydrated. Wipe it off a little if you're gonna be doing eye makeup right after it though, because I had to learn and it started like, there was certain pieces of the liquid that would gel up. It was a hot mess. It didn't look bad at all, it wasn't noticeable, but for me I could notice it. So just wipe it off a little if you're gonna be using it. I don't think I'll be repurchasing it just because I don't fully get usage out of it. However, if I do come to a point where I, where I find that I need to be depuffing my eye or just want a more hydrated under eye and such, I won't hesitate to repurchase and have it ready because I do enjoy it. But that's it. That's my current routine. Like I said, majority of my night routine at this point is K-Beauty and I think I'm just going to continue on that path because my skin has been reacting so well to it. Just hydrated and plump. Let me know if you need any further clarification or have any questions about anything particular that I use today or if you have a recommendation for me. I really want to hear those. So pause, go down below and put your girl on to what you're using. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Ciao.